A lot of controversy surrounding this man and this statue uh, since my story aired at 6. I had a number of tweets from people. Uh, if Ryerson students are offended, then they should drop out and go to another school. Someone else says, no effing way my kid is being made to learn Indigenous anything for an education that I'm paying for. And these kind of comments are not isolated. In fact, the uh, Ryerson Student Union has been bombarded by uh, hundreds and hundreds of messages with similar uh, sentiments. I had a chance to speak to an Indigenous student from Ryerson uh, earlier today about why she found the statue and this man, uh, Egerton Ryerson, so offensive. Indigenous students shouldn't have to uh, walk beside a statue that's glorified by the man who um, was one of the founding forefathers of their demise. He uh, made the, uh, I guess, the framework as to what would go on in these residential schools. In his, uh, in his decisions, he went from a British uh, um, delinquent school for boys, so meaning like as somebody who was in trouble with the law or whatnot, this is how the school would be ran. Um, furthermore, uh, they decided that um, no one, no Indigenous person should have an education over grade three um, and that we should be trained to become servants and farmers. The argument against taking down that statue or renaming the school is that you're essentially erasing history by doing that. Is there a compromise where, where a plaque could go up on top of the statue as well to, to sort of clarify who he was? I, I think that would be a great start. Um, you know, uh, Maybe not all the demands will be met, and I'm ready to accept that. Indigenous students are ready to accept that. Why do you think there's so much anger towards this suggestion of changing the name of removing the statue? I think because uh, the truth hurts. Um, some people don't want to acknowledge uh, what has happened or uh, uh, think that they're a part of something that is that is really um, not fair to any Canadian. Uh, so yeah. Does it hurt to hear it, to read them? Um, it, it hurts me, but it also empowers me to um, keep walking forward in a good way and making sure that my Indigenous people's voices are being heard. Now, the Ryerson uh, Student Union sort of triggered all of this controversy when they asked, uh, demanded rather, a list of demands, including that the statue be taken down and that the name of Ryerson actually be changed. But it turns out that the only two members of the board uh, were behind that call. And now, uh, late this afternoon, the Student Union has sent out a release with a majority of board members signing it, saying that they want to have another meeting about this at the end of July to re-examine that idea.